Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. Uh, this is Lee with Purple Monkey TCG. We are going to be doing round two of these Merlin battle cards. I went ahead for ease of the video and sliced the tops off so we could get them open a little easier. I have not pulled cards, I promise. I did not look ahead of you guys. I also got you another pack of Roaring Skies there just for the convenience of uh, letting me cut that video in half. So let's go ahead and get this going. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and get your notifications. So here we go. Another fireball. So we should be able to get through these a little quicker today. You won't have to sit as long. All right, we got a red knight card there. That's the first time I've seen that. I'm thinking closer to the... Wow, that one's stuck. The uh, further in the back of the pile there, I'm thinking is the rarer cards. Well, see if I can get a fingernail between this one, guys. There we go. Stuck to a barbarian. Another Peter Andrews Jones. Shield Dissolve, that's the first one of that spell we've had. Prince Lionheart and a Horned Devils. Another Fingernail Separate, bear with me. Don't worry guys, I promise not to do another one of these unless you guys request so. But for the love of me, please don't. <laughs> Let me just go ahead and give us a separation flip there. Well, I'm guessing I'm wrong about the fact that the rare cards are in the back because we're seeing... A lot of the same cards coming up in the front that have been coming up in the back, including doubles in the same packs. Burn the Avenger there, Bren. So if I got any uh, fans out there of the Merlin battle cards, please give me your take on it. And uh, definitely let me know if the sticking thing is typical or if I just got a bad pack but for a card from 1993 or at least they were copyrighted in 1993 they're definitely very aged so that could be a big factor in why we are sticking so bad oh Alright, still not another treasure card. I'm hoping to see at least one more for us. There's another one of those map cards. go summon creature there so on the backs of these cards they go into detail about how to use them and everything else just like on the uh, booster package was I was hoping for more of like character background, but they don't provide much of that because some of these characters have very unique names. So I was hoping for some more details on them, but none was provided, unfortunately. Let me get some of these off the desk here. 
get rid of our scissors so we don't stab ourselves. That's always fun. I'm sure you guys can hear these things peeling apart there. Always great. So I've noticed from that time era of the early 90s or so, a lot of card games were based around sci-fi and like, oh, there we go. We got us another treasure card there. Not in the best shape. You can see the corner there. Uh, but Genie and the Jewel, that's different. We'll set that off to the side here. But uh, I'm seeing a lot of these older cards from that time era wow these ones are like creased and bent can you guys see that look at that right out of the pack that way not very good but a lot of the cards from the early 90s and so that we've opened have been very sci-fi more of like historic sci-fi uh, you know uh, barbarians and Merlin time period stuff so it must have been a very strong time period for that kind of science fiction stuff there. So it's always interesting just to see how sci-fi kind of evolves from time period to time period. Um, you know, like with the Conan series and stuff like that, when they redid the movie, it, it seemed almost like it took place in a whole different time period versus the old Conan movies. I mean, yeah, you get some of the same idea of, like, the time period, but when you look at it, like, the technology and stuff they're using, they appear like two different time periods. So, like I said, it makes it kind of interesting just to watch how sci-fi evolves throughout history definitely throughout sci-fi history of course so we got a treasure quest there that's pretty cool there we go see this is what I was talking about with the unique characters and kind of wish it would have given us more of a background on them Vangorian Knight I mean yeah this one's probably not a specific character whereas it's probably you know like there's multiple Vangorian Knights but like this one here, we got Kingdom. <laughs> Kingdom, I get that. That's pretty good. Uh, but like I said, you figure it would give us more of like a backstory. Oh, and this one actually does. So I don't know if you guys can read that or not. Go ahead and pause it if you want. So that some of these actually have a backstory. I'm just missing the ones that do. So, quite a few of these I actually do. So, it's the ones that aren't like a unique character, I guess. See, like there's that Vangorian Knight. It doesn't really give much of a background check on him. So, the unique characters, I'm guessing they did, which is pretty cool. So, I'm going to go back after and pull a couple and look at them. They're pretty neat. See, like Ian here, because it's got a specific name. We got a backstory. So that, that helps develop characters and, you know, create more of a storyline for it. So that's nice. Got another Jester's Quest. Force Field there. We got four more, guys. Let's go ahead and do that Pokemon card pack for you. Don't forget, like, subscribe, and get your notifications on so that... You can be the first one to get these code cards. Oh, and I almost showed it to you all there. Okay, let's get some of these empties off the desk again. All right, like normal, we will go until we hit that uh, reverse foil and flip them to the back.
There it is. Gilligar. Gligar. Y'all know I'm not very good with pronunciations. So let's go ahead and get that to the back there. I know y'all kind of saw that one. My fingers are off a little bit today. There it is, Swellow. Not a reverse or not a foil, but always nice to get a card like that. So here we go. Are you guys ready for it? Get ready to write it down. Get ready to enter it in. Be the first to grab it. There it is. Roaring Skies Booster Pack. Get it. Get it. Get it. All right. Let me throw some foils or some uh, sleeves on these foils and rares here. And I will do the remaining after the show. Don't forget, like, subscribe, notifications, guys. I can't stress it enough. It will definitely help you get more of those card codes for your online game. Here we go. Hoping for one more treasure card out of these. Just keep your fingers crossed for that one. George Lackluster. This poor guy must not be very popular. He lacks luster. Hope oh, we can play card games within a card game. So that's different. Eric the Reptent. So beneath the text of the cards, you will find one of three symbols. A fist, a sword, a shield. Using these symbols contains contest. Let's go with contestants. Constant. Yeah. So I have developed a series of games. The principles of all games are similar when two cards face each other. Shield beats sword, sword beats fist, fist beats sword or shield. Winner takes all. So we're playing rock, paper, scissors within a game of cards here. So that's unique, at least from my point of view. There's another checklist. Get that off to the side too there. All right. So we got one left. Let's hope we can get another treasure card out of it. guys here's that card code again just in case you forgot to pause it earlier there you go this is lee with purple monkey tcg and i am out but before i go don't forget like subscribe and get your notifications guys i'll catch you later